breathe. Tight bodies hurt. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> we're gonna get some working out on today. We're gonna use some bands and stuff like that. But before we actually actually get started, we're gonna go into our traditional routine of stretching. Oh, yeah. Try stretch to get the body ready for what we're getting ready to do. Right? I'm ready. So here we go. We're gonna make sure our legs are under our hips, like so. Right? Hands on your hips. And we're gonna go that way. Small circles, right? Let's go. Oh, stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. Right? Everybody at home who may have some trouble with their lower back, right? Take your time. If you hear a little pop, 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 don't be scared, right? It's just your back releasing. It's gonna make you feel a little bit more comfortable. It's gonna feel a lot better, right? And then you're gonna practice this every morning so that you can have that kind of relief, right? So yeah, let's go the other yeah. way. Small circles, small circles, right? Stretching out our lower back, breathing, taking your time. This is not a rush. Make sure your legs are right up under your hips. That's your position, right? Sway your body. We got one more circle to go. Right? All right. Now we're going to take one step back. Right? Hands up in the air. Inhale. Exhale and go back. Bring it all the way back to the front. We're going to go all the way down and touch our toes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stretching out that lower back, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually the best stretch that you can do for your lower back. It feels so good when you do it like this. Right? Don't take that no kind of way. All right, bring it back up. Bring it back up. <laughs> Inhale deep. Right? Exhale. Go back. All the way back down to the front. I'm going to go all the way down and touch the toes. Let's go. Exhale on your way down. You feel your hammy stretching. Feel your calves stretching. Lower back stretching. Right? Right? Bring it back up. Ah, inhale, I feel good. I'm ready to go. Right? Ooh, that was good. That may not be the most of everything that you need to stretch before we actually work out, but that'll actually get the engine running and yeah, get your body going, right? For sure. All right. So All today, right. ladies and gentlemen, we're going to use a couple of tools that you can purchase at home or Walmart online, however you get them. I don't care. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some bands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right? Yes. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these bands in the gym and at home and all that good stuff, and you're wondering, what can we do with these things while we're not in the gym. Well, we're going to show you, right? Yes, sir. Ty bring these, so I'm pretty okay, sure guys. Ty has some exercises, so, some things he wants to display. So we're okay, going to get guys. right into it. So one of the things I wanted to talk about was something universal, power and speed. Okay. If I'm correct, inside the fitness module, um, it is the fifth, it is the top of the pyramid, which is power. Okay. Which is the power, which is like a pyramid. And, you know, you got the bottom, and then you work your way up. Mm -hmm. So power. How do we work on power and speed? Mm-hmm. Is what the question is. Okay. So one of the ways you can do, one of the models you can do for muscle endurance is when you have something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slow twitch muscle fibers. Okay. Okay. So just showing you a little bit, and then we're gonna deal with the other one, which is the power. Mm -hmm. Okay. And speed. Okay. So one of the ways we do is we get a band. If you get a band and it has too much weight, what you do is you put it on one foot versus two, and this is also a good way to warm up the muscle. And basically, you could do two at a time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I keep my stomach in tight while I'm doing uh -huh. this. You know what I'm saying? I was going to say, now, while you're doing this, you want to make sure your abs is tight, right? Oh, yeah. But you also want to make sure that that leg that you're not using, tighten that leg up, too. Mm, thank you for telling me. There we go. And I do about maybe 30 seconds. Posture, right? Posture, yeah. I see some people going like this. Uh -huh. And I also correct them on posture. Because I see a lot of people... Like yesterday when they lifting weights. Uh huh. 
So well, we have to wait. Well, some, for sometimes uh, I can't really make too many excuses for them, but the weight <laughs> may be too heavy when they're in the gym. Ooh, and that's why that they head is there. You know? so okay. When the weight is so lighter, just, you can, you know. So I just did about 30 seconds. Do what you need to do. You and know? take a quick break for about 10. And then you get another one in. And then another one in. Okay. Notice he's going a little bit faster than I was, but that's okay. Because some, some sets will be slow. And some sets you can do a little, you know what I'm saying? A little faster. And notice on his particular form, he's coming more towards the chest. So you have the different variations of the bicep curl. Yes? Okay, that's yeah. also good. That hits different parts of the uh, bicep muscle. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I see what I was what I was working towards was more of cutting, you know. So yeah. that's more of the cut workout when you're mm -hmm. going a little bit faster. But when you're trying to get your biceps a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, go a little bit slower. Go like how Ty was going. Yeah. You know what I mean. And that's what we're gonna talk about too: how to get them bigger, and also how not only mass but also how to get them fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I got two feet. One, two. No, mm -hmm. so I'm doing. Full range of motion. Now, when he does two feet, understand that he added more resistance. That's bit. what he did with that, okay? The one foot is less resistance. So, for you beginners who's just learning the tension of the bands, you probably want to start off with one foot. But as you get a little bit stronger, you're going to need more, more tension, more pressure. So, step on it with two feet, and you add that more pressure to it, right? Yes, right. All right. Well, we, got a, we got a question from the, uh, from the people, a comment. Okay. Do if you stretch your legs out more, does that give resistance to the band as well? Oh, uh, you can tighten your legs as if you were doing like the plank. You know, like the, the way we were saying earlier, we you tighten your abs, tighten your legs, tighten everything, right? But if you're doing one foot, right, that other leg that isn't doing anything, you tighten <laughs> that leg up, right? Yeah. You're doing both legs, right? You might want to have those legs kind of relaxed, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, when you're yeah. doing both legs. But if you're doing one leg, you know, let that leg do something. Don't right. let it just be sitting there hanging out. And you know also, I mean? and also, if you're doing two legs, I would advise instead of trying to go out like a horse stance, you know what I'm saying, that you just Bring cross the bands. Bring it in. It's another way of getting more attention. Cross the now bands. Now see, we were doing one hand, one leg, right? One leg, and I showed you technique of bringing it in here, right? Keeping the leg straight, chest right. up, right? Stomach in. So now we're gonna do two legs. So we're gonna two change legs. our posture, okay, now, right? So now we got two legs. See that two so legs? now it's more on the side here, right? Yeah. See? And yes, when you open your legs up from this position here, which is the straight leg position, yes, tension. I don't want to overdo it. And also, I'm going to show you the hardest way to do it right after this is the third level for muscle endurance. So you're saying, okay, I don't want to go get another band. You might not have, if you don't, you know, don't have the money yet, you're waiting for your paycheck. You know what I'm saying? For those. Working a nine to five job. <laughs> uh, the whole idea <laughs> is, uh, you know, what I'm saying, is that you can take this and all you do is put it on one leg, just like you did before. And all you got to do is put everything on one hand. Mm -hmm. And this is how you're going to get more demands on that muscle group. So There's one leg, you can use one that hand. Too. And then, of course, don't do as many because this is the hardest version when it comes to this. Right. And you get it in. Add it more. So now it's yes. Yeah. Everything is on that one side. <laughs> now you got it all on one arm. <laughs> yeah, one arm. Okay. All when you're doing a power posture, level. All of that. When you're doing, a, and thank you for this leg. When you're doing a power level, once again, don't do as many reps. Mm -hmm. Because the power level is different from the endurance level. Okay. That's why Bruce Lee only did power training, weight training once a week. Lifting very heavy. Did it for a reason. I think Bruce just didn't want to lose his speed. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna go after he finished this set. We're gonna get a heavier band. Heavier. All right. <laughs> All right. This feels good. This feels good. Not that I want my arms to get any bigger than what they are. Then I can't wear any clothes. <laughs> Who wants to wear sweat clothes for right. the rest of your life? Not me. Yeah. All right. You ever see somebody with? They were so big. They, they wear sweat clothes for the they rest of so their life. They wear sweat clothes. The rest of their life, yeah. they got sweat clothes on. They could also right? actually couldn't lift their arms. <laughs> Had so much muscle. I'm going to get some help from the desk, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what you're working with. And once again, use what's in your hand. If you got free weights, if you got a gallon of water, use what's in your house. Just make sure you got the proper form. You know what I'm saying? 
And also, at, at another level, you got to get out the norm, and you got to also work more muscle groups after you get this basic fundamentals. How can he do the same move and work his butt and his legs with his arms? And that's so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good. Just messing around. Okay, my people. <laughs> so once again, guys, I talked about, and I got to go back to my files. One of the, uh, I think at the top of the pyramid is the power level. Mm -hmm. That means the 10 rep max. That means that you got so much pressure because you're trying to develop more muscle mass. Or for the martial artists, for those who are the combat warriors or want to know how to defend yourself, you need speed. So when you need speed, you are talking about... Give me those, my brother. Oh. You are talking about lifting heavier. Okay? There you go. There you go. Less repetition. Yes. And more what? Speed. More. More what? Less repetition. And more... Speed. Weight. What do you say? <laughs> right? What you so say? that means instead of me jogging here, I got to put... The, I got to pick this guy up and I got to run with him. No. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> All right? But, but correct. Yeah. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Military style. Correct. When it comes to the weights, same idea. Correct. Instead of lifting the easy one, no, I got to lift that one that's going to wipe that smile off my face. Mm -hmm. Got more weight. Mm -hmm. And I can only lift it about six to ten times. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So here, when I get to the power level, once again, if you got a bit, this is the heaviest one, orange. See, I wouldn't even do arms with that. That thing is heavy. So, <laughs> let's start from the end. The ending is just like we showed you. I'm going to put everything on one arm. So, when I put everything on one arm and this thing is heavy, what's going to happen? Even if I can't lift it up, let me show you what I'll do. Let's, let's get Even you, if I let's can't lift right it all the way. So, so when you fall out, I'll catch you. <laughs> Even if I can't lift it all the way up here, I'll just lift it up to where I can and hold it. Isometric strength. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's ten, talking about it. Test the power. 13, 15, 15. I'm not challenging you. Okay. No, I'm not doing that. I think I'm going to go about 10. <laughs> and then Bruce Lee used to do another technique like that. we talk about that later. But stomach. Uh-huh. Contract. Let's see. Let's see. Contract. You good? You good? Three, four, five, six. You good? Come on. Come you on. Good? Don't hit the band. <laughs> you good? Three. Two. You good? One. You good? Ah. <laughs> okay. My so we're starting from <laughs> the heaviest pressure on it. Once again, everything is on one side. So what would happen if your feet slipped and kicked you in the face? <laughs> oh, that would be a lesson learned. <laughs> Ooh, <all right. laughs> that would definitely be a lesson learned. <laughs> okay, you see my people? He got it all on one shot. And once again, if he can't get it up, he could just hold it. Well, I'm going to get it. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten, look at those one, muscles. two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down. Ooh. And the only reason why we brought it down because once again, when you're lifting, that's why I was yeah, broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get that other side. <laughs> but remember, when you're lifting heavy, you don't want to do as many repetitions when you're lifting heavier. Keep that in mind, okay? The focus is not on muscular endurance. The focus is on power. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And guys, eight, what is one, the best way two, to plant your feet three, when you're doing four, this? Like five, this. Six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. And all right, good job. Best way to plant that your feet, honestly, question. is uh, when you tighten up your body, you know, that's going to plant everything, you know? Mm -hmm. Pretty much when you're standing like this, even like in your martial arts stance, yeah, that's right. you mm -hmm. plant your oh, body. Oh, boxing, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. That's right. So you also have some variation. So now we go down one. That means now, get it on two feet. Okay? That means the pressure's still there. So, okay. I'm going to show you. Got it on two feet. Okay? And what you're going to do from there is, once again, look at Knees are slightly bent. Stomach is in tight. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I'm just going to say it. Okay. Them was some fast seconds. Them was like milliseconds. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, that's a heavy one. Them was some fast yeah, yeah, seconds. Yeah. One. Every thought to be the same, the same repetition. Talk, I like to switch it up. Smack and I got to go right after them. Okay. <laughs> and once again, all parts is effective. Going up and coming down. Eccentric, co-eccentric. Yeah. Another one I forgot. <laughs> Good. Keep that head up, G. Uh, uh 
Uh huh. That stomach in. Uh huh. Got that stomach in. Get to work on my 52. <laughs> All right. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Okay, like, guys. Like. So now we're going to make it to the easiest version. Mm -hmm. So we worked our way back, and this is also good when you switch it up in pyramid f format. That okay. means you can go this way, and then you go the other way. Start That's low. Good. So now I put it all on one foot, and look at I got it in both hands versus in one hand, right? See him, right? So that means I made it easier in two hands. And now what I'm going to do, I got that pressure here, pressure here, pressure here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And pressure there. One. Uh-huh. Two. Tight. Three. Tight. Four. Five. Tight. Good. Six. Squeeze. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Okay, and I can go a little longer if I want. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it's easier. And you, you <laughs> right? guys just don't have enough time to watch us do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so remember that we have the resistance band that has a lot more weight. Okay. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Here we go. That's right. And make sure you breathe. Good. Nice. And once again, you can also do different hand positions from the hammer curl. He did the one earlier where he came up to the chest. Right? I'll do that from time or two. And you also have the one where, especially with the free weights, where mm -hmm. you can turn it into a hammer curl. That's true. That's true. Opposite direction. Okay? I mean, you can also, with the lighter one, of course, you can do like your, uh, what do you call it? Uh... What do you call it again? You step back. Oh, is that a commercial break? <sighs> the commercial oh, break thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do those with the bands yeah, yeah, as yeah. well for your shoulders as well. Oh, you're yeah. Doing, of course. Doing your, Multi movement. Uh, you know what I mean? Lunge. Uh -huh. There we go. I see, I forgot the lunge to show you where my head is. I forgot the lunge. That's because he's thinking about that commercial break. That's why. Pretty that's much. Why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the yeah, lunge yeah. is typically where you can use the bands as well. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So, like you said, you can switch it up. Do a whole bunch of different stuff. But I think we've run out of time, my brother. Yes. I think you've gave a oh, bang and bang lesson we, on. I'm you and you and me. Today. Oh, yeah. You know, so if you guys need more, you rewind, check it out, see what he got, see what we got, copy it, repeat it, and work for better health. So with that being said, we're going to see you guys next episode. This is Body by Sandra. Next episode? You mean yeah, a commercial? No, right. we're going to the right. next episode. Right. No, I'm tired. I don't want to do no more. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud to announce a new internet television station called LDM Network. And on this station, we're going to be bringing you live talk shows, music reviews, independent music artists, videos, sports, live events, and much, much more. Go to www.ldmnetwork.net for more information and all the shows that are going to be on this network. Again, that's www.ldmnetwork.net. And hey, if you are an independent artist or you love to hear independent music, go to our new radio station called LDM Radio. Go to www.ldmradio.com for more information on where to listen or submit your music. What's up, what's up, what's up, peoples? We yeah. are back. We are back. We're, We're just back. reviewing right now. We're working out with the bands, strength training. We're working mm -hmm. on some speed, you know, putting the bands under one leg, getting pressure, two legs, mm -hmm. two arms, one arm. Yeah. Switching it up so that you can get the best out of the bands while yeah. you're at home and you're working out, you know. Um, um, I like to use the band for a couple of other things, too. Like, we went over arms and stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's see, like the thick ones. See, the thick ones oh, you yeah. can use for bigger muscles. Let's mm -hmm. put it like that. For work like, like your legs, legs your backs, and and back stuff like that. Chest. You know, the lighter ones is more for the biceps and stuff like that because you can actually pop that if you're too aggressive on it. You know, I pop mine a couple of times. <laughs> 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 you know, but um, I like to use it for my chest as well. So this is how I created like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have the butterfly, the gem, right? Uh huh. Machine that does this. Uh huh. So. I use the bands, the pressure, the thicker ones. Got enough pressure. For oh you? yeah. Okay. See, I wrapped it around my thumb. See where my All thumbs right. is at. Yeah. See, see where the thumbs is at. You can see the pressure. Feel the band. See how tight it is. Yeah. Feel it again. 
See how tight it is? Oh, yeah. Right. Now we're going to do reps, right? So now you're still working your chest. You don't have all those weights. You don't want a super huge chest. You just want to get that chest in shape, tighten up. Yeah. You know? Because you, you already got, it. yeah. You can see it. Mm -hmm. Punch harder. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. You see it. Oh, yeah. See, so you can get your chest in with this uh -huh. as well, too. Right. You know what I mean? This is not about weight. This right. is about repetition. You know what I mean? So this Muscle is more, endurance. more for cutting. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. You want to slim down. You want to cut down. You know, that's what more of this is for. So right. you get the big bands right. to do these. Now, when you did that, I'm also saying, in the supernatural, <laughs> I'm saying one arm like a diamond push-up. Uh-huh. Oh, That's what it is. Because when you come in, because I, I kept seeing him coming here. Yeah. And I said, man, he looked like he on the floor doing a diamond push-up. I'm, you know I'm actually saying? supposed to be on the floor. <laughs> see? <laughs> but see, that's, okay, that's so. where the resistance comes in to help you get stronger in your push-up. Right. If you have the band on and you're doing your push-ups on the floor, it's uh -huh. pulling you back down. That's so right. you're working against the band. So yeah. you can do it that way. So, well. so my people, you I, have to I, know I your I options. Think we, I think right? we have a, a, a show and tell. It sounds like a show and tell. You're right. Let's get Charles on the floor so we can set Charles up. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right. Uh, see, what, what happened was, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, he asked for show and tell. So, right, right, you know? right, right. So, <laughs> let's get in position, right? Okay, we're going to try this the out. Band. You ain't got to do it with the band on. This out. No, we're going to try we're With gonna the band? We're going to try We're going to oh, try man. with the band. All right, bro. my thumbs are hurting already. We're going to do it with the band. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all can see this? Y'all can see this? Yeah, we can uh, see it. One. See that? Two. Uh huh. Three, y'all see what he's doing? Four, see that? Five, six, uh -huh. seven. Oh, All right. too much. Now for, the, <laughs> now, for those who might not have a band, what, what, what I normally do is I put my hand as close as possible to my chest uh -huh. so that my thumbs are touching my chest. Uh -huh. And then what happens? I'm, I'm, I feel it more in my chest area. Uh huh. And you breathe. Tighten that stomach, tighten those legs. Oh. Yeah, man. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. Yeah, these are the uh, military push-ups. Yeah. Every time I come down, I feel it right there. Uh-huh. My thumbs on my chest. And don't forget that, you. That little peak right you there. You also yeah. have. a little area right there. For those who got more flexibility, you can also do the diamond. Uh-huh. Okay? But I'm going to stay on these. See, now we're now we having a push-up blast. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh now when you lift that leg up you automatically are working on that core trust and believe that's core work right there balance Ooh, that's uh -huh, so good. Uh -huh. all right my people uh -huh. so just a few ways that you can work on your chest also uh-huh i like to put this in here and i learned over the years keep on improving you can do it on the outside like he did, uh -huh. but you can also bring this on the inside. Okay. So. See, here, you're definitely going to need somebody help because it's not enough resistance for you to, you know, get that pull like that. So this, this actually requires you to take a step out, put one leg back, if you guys can see it, right? And instead of putting yeah. my hands over, i got to put them under, right? You see, this is when you have assistance, you have somebody's help. So you test your strength against their strength, right? They both getting it. You get that, I'm getting it. <laughs> right? Right. So you got to control my strength now, right? And I got to see if I'm strong enough to pull them on, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, a, right. that's a good challenge for you and your friend when y'all working out together and right? stuff like that. Just to keep it fun. That's right. Competitive, you know, and you enjoy it a little bit. Now, you know? Also, when you're working back muscles, there's a lot of things you could do with this band. Mm -hmm. Sky's the limit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You remember tug of war? You remember oh, tug of war? Oh, I always won. Enjoy the journey, my I people. I cheat. I cheat. I always won. You can do something <laughs> like the tug of war. He grabbed one. You know like what I'm saying? Like I said, I cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're going to give it something, plant your feet first, understand what this game is about, and just try to have some fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, All right. So let's, not, let's not just one on. One on. Each other, one on at a time. But you're testing your strength, right? Just holding it one. Oh, yeah. Three. I see. I ain't move. Seven. Eight, nah, I ain't, I ain't move. Nine. I'm making time move. I ain't move. <laughs> I ain't move yet. I'm making time move. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm making time move. Go. You ready? You ready? He gonna make me move. You ready? Four. Here we go. Here we go. One. Oh yeah. This Four. is the weak arm. See? Seven. So this is where we talk about working on your weaknesses, not your strength so much, or you wind up in a position like this. <laughs> 
All right. Okay, you got it. Oh. <laughs> All right, my people. So once again, you can have a good time with this. Right. Okay, you can have a good time with this. Your chest is connected to your back. Just like the yin and yang symbol, you want to take those exercises, mm -hmm. and as soon as you work the chest, remember you got to work the back. Okay? I forgot exactly what that term is called. It's not, I don't believe it's called the compound uh, workout, but you basically work in your opposites. Yeah. Like if you work the chest, you work the back. Eccentric, uh, work your uh, biceps, you work the triceps. Word, uh, antagonistic, you know what I mean? Yeah, that'll come back to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, 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 I, you, get, what, you get what we're trying to say. That's why I just say yin and yang. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You get what we're trying to say. Okay. You know, a lot of times when you work in your chest, like your biceps, triceps. Chest is all push. Chest and triceps. That's all push. Everything for the front is all push. Everything for Back is pull, mm -hmm. right? Biceps is a pull, right? For your back, pull, pull ups. Right. So right? I say push. So I so say back and biceps, right? Chest and triceps. Uh huh. To remember. Uh huh. Okay. Got to keep the upper body strong. Of course, don't forget about the lower half. Make sure you guys are working that as well. <laughs> oh yeah, they yeah. all work together. So, but, so my people, this is what we were showing you today: how to take a resistance band. Working in so many different and ways. Crazy exercises, right? With it, just to stay in shape. If you, you know inside, I mean? if you inside the neighborhood and you don't have a partner, uh huh, you can put it on something. You yeah, see yeah, a pole, yeah. Go you to see the a tree. Yeah, yeah. Put this thing on. You can place it right there on a the pole. Fact. Make sure that it's at the same level where you'll be pushing. Fact. Sometimes you can put it on something like in your house where uh, the door. Wait, pause. See, I was hoping he didn't say that because uh. I was gonna correct that. <laughs> don't put it on in your house unless you're oh. the person that's gonna fix it after you bring it down. Oh. You're not going to know your strength when you try to pull something down with and that. And you got to have a strong door. Yeah, Go yeah, outside yeah. and let the city pay for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So you heard that wave, okay? So Do not use that uh, wrapped around something in your house, not around uh, the heating pipes, none of that stuff. <laughs> Trust me, just don't do it. Take that outside if you need to put it around something to get uh -huh. that resistance from. Otherwise, it's your feet because you have control of your feet, but you don't know your strength and you might pull something down and... Yeah, that's going to be some work for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, with that being said, we'd like to thank everybody for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make oh, sure yeah. you're checking in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we Friday. Episode on Staying Healthy. That's on our next episode. This is by Sandor. This is Ty. Dear Summer. We'll see y'all guys later. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Woo! I know one thing. This is my whole work. Breathe.